Western Digital will invest 2.3 billion ringgit to upgrade its facilities and up production capacity in Malaysia. According to the Prime Minister's office, this was agreed upon during a meeting between Prime Minister Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin and Western Digital Group Chairman Datuk Dr. Syed Hussein Aljunit today. This brings the hard disk drive manufacturer's total investment in the country to nearly 18 billion ringgit. The new investment will go towards its facilities at Western Digital Media Pulau Pinang and Western Digital Sarawak and create over 2,000 new jobs. According to the PMO, the group's Malaysian exports totaled 18 billion ringgit of products last year. It said Western Digital's commitment reflects the high confidence of foreign investors in the government to continue to expand their investments and operations in Malaysia. Western Digital ceased manufacturing operations in Petaling Jaya Selangor at end 2019 as part of its plans to rationalise its HDD manufacturing operations globally and recently sold the factory to Taiwan's Western Corp. Penang and Strawa aside, it still has manufacturing facilities in Johor. Dewan Rakyat Speaker Dato Azhar Azizan Harun says only 80 out of Malaysia's 222 MPs will be allowed to enter the hall for sittings, including the tabling of Budget 2021 tomorrow evening. According to Azhar, 41 government lawmakers and 39 opposition and independent MPs are allowed to attend the sitting in the hall at any one time. He said this is a measure to ensure the safety of parliamentarians as the nation grapples with a third wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. The decision was made after Azhar met with all party whip chiefs and consulted with the National Security Council and the Health Ministry. It is up to each party to determine who they would like to send to sit in on the tabling of the budget tomorrow. Special cards will be given to MPs chosen to attend. However, all MPs are allowed to enter the Dewan Rakyat to vote. They will be given 10 minutes to cast their ballots. Meanwhile, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Parliament and Law, Datuk Takiyudin Hassan says, the government is considering the proposal to hold the sitting virtually as a measure to curb the spread of COVID-19. Although the matter was not provided for in the Dewan Rakyat Standing Order, he explains that it could be done by simply amending the prescribed procedures. The FBM KLCI closed 36.88 points or 2.52% higher at 1,501.49, while Bursa Malaysia's indices for technology stocks and small cap companies rose by a larger quantum. Ahead of Budget 2021 tomorrow, and as former US Vice President Joe Biden pulls ahead of Republican rival Donald Trump. The benchmark composite closed at its intraday high, while Bursa's technology index ended up 5.36% to become the largest percentage gainer among the exchange's indices. The small cap index finished up 4.01%. Bursa saw 6.92 billion securities worth 3.89 billion ringgit traded. There were 1,096 gainers versus 204 decliners. Biden is reportedly within striking distance of clinching a nail-biting US presidential election and he is widely seen as likely to be less combative on trade policy and in relations with the region's growth engine China. Investors are hoping that it may clear the way for Asia's stronger recovery from the coronavirus crisis. Reuters quoted Mahesh Sethuraman, country head of global sales trading at Saxo Capital Markets Singapore, as saying that a democratic victory would be somewhat good for China and emerging economies at large. While MIDF Amanah Investment Bank research head Imran Yassin Yusuf told the EdgeMarkets.com that a Biden win is expected to reduce market uncertainties. Works Minister Datuk Sri Fadilah Yusof says Putrajaya is committed to continuing with the rollout of the Sabah portion of the Pan Borneo Highway following the termination of the previous project delivery partner agreement under the PH administration. Fadila told the Dewan Rakyat today that the federal government will be funding the 15 work packages costing 10.12 billion ringgit using development expenditure. 
To ensure more efficient implementation, the governance for project implementation will continue as decided by the federal government via a cabinet meeting. He said the Works Ministry as the project owner and the Sabah Public Works Department as the superintending officer will be in charge of ensuring smooth implementation of the project in terms of operations. Fadila said this in his reply to a question from Bian Kinabatangan MP Datuk Sri Bong Mokhtar Radin as to whether the federal government intends to delegate power to the Sabah Industrial Development Ministry to manage the implementation of the highway project in the state. The Securities Commission has cautioned the public of a sharp increase in clone firm scams this year, perpetrated by companies that fraudulently impersonate legitimate entities, including misusing names and logos of public listed companies. In a statement, the regulator said these clone firms offer non-existent investment opportunities, including in the shares of PLCs, promising unrealistically high returns within a short span of time. The scams include PLCs in the medical, glove and property sectors and use corporate credentials, websites and other details of legitimate entities when promoting these schemes via social media channels such as Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. The regulator said victims are often instructed to provide personal information after which they would be directed to transfer funds to the scammers' personal bank accounts. The impersonators would then induce victims to part with more money on the pretext of income tax payments, administrative fees, bank charges or exchange rates. Last month, IOI Corp said its identity was fraudulently used for scamming purposes by certain parties and said it was not involved in any unsolicited capital market investment with the individuals.